it's sunny in art studios and we're super excited this tuesday morning um susanna baker here and art talk from the canvas to the red carpet where art happenings are always uh told to our listeners and i'm super excited because i just came from a four-day event called Hispanicize, and Hispanicize is an amazing event. A lot of people do not realize that this event exists. It used to be in Texas. It's like the Southwest by South um, in Austin, Texas, but for the who's who of the Latino world. And I am talking, they take over the whole hotel. This year was intercontinental. It was from April 1st to April 4th. And what they do is they bring in all types of bloggers, journalists, from the music industry, from entertainment, tech, and of course, journalism. And so we had Telemundo, Univision, tons of bloggers, tweeters, extreme makeover from the Latin division. Uh, we also had some great guests, the Latino Vader Awards. Carlos Vives was given one, Sheila E. Uh, shout out to Sheila Easton, great concert she did. And one of the things that the I do um, from our talk and the art experience is we have a division called Murals for Morale. And Murals for Morale goes out to these special galas and nonprofit functions, and we do it for like American Diabetes, Special Olympics, and we do it for Hispanicize, and we come out empowering artists that we pick from our community to paint live. And while they're painting live, there's a silent bid sheet and people bid on the piece. At the end, the highest bidder gets a fabulous original piece of work of art, which normally is at a fraction that it would be in the gallery, but 100% of the proceeds, in this case, went to Aspira of Florida, a wonderful organization of Latino youth, exp uh, really bringing up uh, the Latino youth for education in chartered schools for the last 53 years, and they have a school in Wynwood. Well, from our artists, I gotta tell you, I thanked uh, profusely Elizar Delgado, who came and painted for us, uh, Ernie Val, uh, Vallis, that came to paint for us, Luis Villegas also came, uh, Luis Val, that came to paint for us, and Pepe Villegas, that came to paint for us, Ileana Colasso, and Giselle Burrison. And with that said, a big thank you from the bottom of the heart of Hispanicize, also from the bottom of the heart of George Cabrera, President and CEO of Aspira, and from me, from the art experience, Susanna Baker, I love you guys. Thank you for empowering our youth because they are our legacy. With that said, we have the winner of Hispanicize, which was a big surprise because he came last moment to help out. Pepe Villegas, congratulations on winning Hispanicize 2014. Thank you very much. Well, good morning, and how did you feel about the experience? Oh, no, no, it, it, you know, it was an amazing experience. Uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, yeah, it was a last minute thing, and I had no idea what I was getting into. Uh, uh, the only thing was go paint and uh, uh, for the benefit of Aspira, which we are now involved, and which is something that is very dear to my heart. So uh, I just went with the flow. And uh, you know, at around six o'clock, you told me you have to finish. And I was like, yeah, and I'm hungry and I have to go home. <laughs> so uh, it was uh, a, a surprise when we all got together in that room and uh, I had no idea that you were selecting a best in show. And uh, it was really a, a, an amazing uh, experience. experience. Yeah. Well, you know, I have to tell you for coming on, I believe Raleigh, we have someone on the phone. This is a surprise uh, uh, call-in, but who's the surprise caller? Hey, it's Randy Gleese. How are you doing today, babe? Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Manny Ruiz is the CEO, creative founder of Hispanicize. Thank you for calling. We got Pepe here. Do you want to say some words? Well, no, listen, I, I, I didn't even know he was last minute, to be honest with you. I thought he was already part of the plan. All along, so congratulations, Pepe. I, I was very. I remember we were voting for the uh, the winners, and you were my personal selection as well. So I was glad that everybody else agreed uh, and unanimously that you you had. And by the way, very tough competition because uh, I know all the other artists you were up against. So uh, congratulations. Thank you very I'm much. I'm very happy that uh, that this is something that you're doing, not only for the art but also for the passion of education and 
I see you have a great job with George Tabar doing over there as well. Yeah, no, it, it was uh, my surprise, also a pleasure to uh, meet you and uh, and also uh, knowing what you do, which I think is uh, uh, remarkable. So, so uh, thank you so much uh, for the recognition. Manny, thank you. You did a fabulous job. You blew away Miami once again. Uh, you got the keys to the city by Mayor Tomas Regalado. Well deserved. And I know you must be exhausted. I don't want to keep you anymore, but you did a great job. You to your team, Jay Cruz, to uh, Latina Moms Bloggers, to Lexi, to Vanessa James. She did a fabulous job. Um, I just got to tell you, I am so impressed. Every single year, you blow it over the top. You get bigger. And I'm always wondering, how is he going to do it next year, even bigger and better? And I think also Murals for Morale this year got even bigger and better. We brought more artists to the table. People that we saw really wanted to commit to Aspira. Uh, we also picked 10 children to follow and shadow journalists and bloggers. And thank you for letting that happen, as well as Matt, yeah. Matt Wahlberg from Bing Microsoft. Thank you to Matt. But Manny, I can't tell you how profusely the art community in Miami thanks you for giving us that platform. Hey, we're, we're grateful uh, to have a partnership Get yourself some rest. Go to Bora Bora with your beautiful wife and enjoy it and have a cocktail, a couple of cocktails on me. <laughs> Thank you, Manny. Anyway, so that's Manny Ruiz from Hispanicize 2014. We wrapped it up in the Intercontinental. Pepe, congratulations. You're doing fabulous stuff. Your piece, Renacer, was amazing. Um, my daughter loved it. Uh, she was very sad that someone bit on it. She thought that for some reason they would all end up in my room, <laughs> in her room. And she was pretty upset about that because she also, like Manny, really fell in love with that. Thank you, um, thank you. On another note, I just want to briefly do a shout out to Giselle. Giselle, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Very good. I know that you were the newest emerging artist at Hispanicize, yes, and are. you really pulled up to the plate the last moment for us, too. Mm -hmm. You did that beautiful mural uh, uh, painting of the two th Toscan, Toscan, Toscan birds. Yes. Toscan. Tell me your experience of Hispanicize real quickly. It was great. I was feeling very, very happy participating in all these artists that are very important. And uh, I was feeling absolutely wonderful well I have to tell you mm -hmm. I my assistant was the one who said you know we have somebody in our team that is really a great artist and the last moment I know Manny was surprised because the last moment I said you know what I'm gonna bring like four closing event I'm gonna bring three artists to paint because it's supposed to be one artist per day but the last day I just wanted to really blow it out of the water and I brought and I brought three uh, artists to paint you uh, uh, Iliana Colasso, Giselle, and Pepe Villegas. And I have to tell you, you guys, in a short amount of hours, did the most incredible paintings. Giselle, I know your your heart is in the, Thank you so much for supporting the kids of Aspira. And I know you're going places. And thank you once again for collaborating. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank and Pepe, you thank you so birthday. much. Thank you. I can't begin to tell you how special it is. For me, children is what it's all about. Uh, you know, if you don't do something to empower your community, well, then shame on you because our legacies are what we live behind. With that saying, I have to tell you, one of the best places that does that, who has been doing that for decades, who inspires, empowers the community, gives back, is uh, the Deering Estate of Cutler Bay. And uh, I'm going to uh, introduce at this moment uh, the exhibit specialist of Deering Estate at Cutler, which is Kim Yantis. Good morning. 
Good morning. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Now tell me, this event is to take off. Once again, it's an annual event, and all the events begin on Friday, and it's free to the public, I understand? Yes, our event's on Friday night, um, and then the entire um, afternoon on Saturday from 3.30 uh, to 10 p.m., uh, Saturday, April 12th is our main exhibit day. Really want to invite all the public out. Uh, there's activities uh, that are related to art and environmentalism for adults and children, as well as a intensive indoor and outdoor uh, exhibit in the historic homes and on the historic grounds. And I have to tell you, one of the special programs also that will be kicking off on Saturday, April 12th uh, from 4.45 to 6.15 is the Curator's Tour in Deep with my friend and an amazing talent, Lucinda Lederman. Did I say that right? Please correct me. I tried. I it's really Lucinda. did. It's perfect. Lucinda. <laughs> okay. You. And tell us about this wonderful tour and exhibit of these national and international artists. So the exhibit includes 61 artists and um, 27 literary artists and then 122 performing artists. The exhibit goes throughout both both houses and it also includes an outdoor exhibit on the lawns. The exhibit in deep is about deep ecology. It's about the way that man interacts with his environment and it's really um, an exhibit that encompasses all forms of environmental art which is land art, uh, found object, eco art, community involvement. So um, we've really tried to incorporate um, all of the areas of environmental art to give a good overview of what's happening in Florida. You know, I have to tell you, uh, Lucinda, you have been working a long time. Your works are fabulous. I've never seen anyone take up bicycle inner tubes and make sculptures the way you make them. I remember meeting you when I started my art tour company five years ago. I remember meeting you with the beautiful recycled garbage bag dress of Maria Antoinette That's with the correct. huge hair and the huge, and I was, you know, we are always involved with events, and I always used to say, Lucinda, please come out and just greet the, you know, and she, again, you always give back. You're amazing like that. Thank you. And I love your work. I remember last year, uh, Bernice Steinbaum at the Zadok Gallery last summer uh, did uh, do um, 50 Shades of Grey, which was all the artists that were 50 years young, uh, and older, and then she did on the other side of the gallery. Zadar Gallery has two so well, my work in particular focuses on consumer packaging, but um, and I have been working in this area for a long time, and that's why it was so wonderful to be able to curate this exhibit, which is in in combination with an NEA grant that we got to start an environmental art residency at the Deering Estate. Oh my God. And I'm actually the mentor artist um, leading that program That right is now. fabulous. Well, you definitely need to hook up with my friend Pepe Villagas <laughs> because he did all uh, consumer packaging statues that are tremendously in height and it's all with the different cardboards from Corona and the beers and it's just fabulous and so definitely need to uh, get some of these artists talking to you I know you always reach out to the community and everybody's running around crazy but I know one thing about Miami and this is something I love is that artists here really like to help other artists mm -hmm. and I really find that and one thing that my friend Ernie Valdez said he says you know sometimes when I'm too busy and I have to turn something down because you know he says if you ask an artist what how do they know that they're successful you know how do you know you became as an artist you are now successful and he said when you turn down jobs when you're able to turn down jobs but to also rec you know give them to someone else don't just let it go to waste you know find somebody else that you could say look i can't take it but call this guy and I thought that was so fabulous, you know, to do, to say that, to say that, you know, not only turning down jobs, but to the point where you could confidently suggest another artist to go in. And I think that's great. And in the community of Miami, I see that a lot. And I think these residence programs, Kim, when, uh, you, now, are you new to the Deering Estate? Or? No, I've been with the um, estate uh, almost four years now. My first year, I was an artist in residence in our studio program. And now I have the honor of directing the artist in residence program as well, and as well as our cultural arts programs. Now, tell us about artists in residence. Now, this is a year-long program. 
How long is it? Um, yeah, it's a maximum of a year. Uh, it's a studio uh, program uh, where artists apply uh, if they're lucky enough to be granted one of the five spaces. Uh, they use it as their main workspace and, wow. um, and create at the estate. It's a beautiful natural environment with five historic buildings, uh, many visitors. And they conduct their practice there. It's not a, it's not a commercial site. It's wow. a studio site. We also have artists that come in and do project residencies. Um, and we give them an ex exhibition opportunity uh, once a year That's to fabulous. participate. So if I was an artist and I was interested in um, doing this, when would you need the applications? What would I need to do? Uh, it's coming up soon. Uh, you need to go online and fill out one of our applications and submit it by April 15th annually. Oh, <laughs> um, why, why? However, that's for the studio. So April 15th, this, everybody's running with well, taxes. Here's, yeah, here's, a little, yeah. here's a little leeway. <laughs> okay. um, our project residency applications are reviewed multiple times during the year. So oh, the non-studio uh, artists have a little uh, more time to develop their projects in writing and submit it whenever they're ready. Now, how many... Uh, how many um, Applications do you normally get? I generally get between um, 40 and 60 applications for the studio program. Uh, we are in a wonderful, very south location, um, and it's it's sometimes a fit for folks, sometimes not. But we invite as many community members and artists uh, to apply and join us. Uh, very often, uh, they continue. I offer alumni exhibition shows uh, oh, once they're in our program. Well, you're always doing, I mean, one thing about the Deering Estate at Cutler, they're always doing these wonderful jazz concerts and these wonderful tea parties, and uh, it's, it's just a beautiful oasis of, of, of just a beautiful landmark Historic, historic buildings as well as the landscape and you can't beat it and it's an infusion of art and all the programs you put together are very well uh, thought out and uh, there's never a sour note with the Deering Estate at Cutler. And, you know, to see also uh, Lucinda Lederman, Lederman there, uh, I'm very excited because, you know, to see someone that I know that's worked so hard and, you know, in the last five years that I've been in the art circle, uh, I know Lucinda's been longer, but I've seen her really work her way and I just only see just a lot of light at the end of your tunnel, young lady. And um, with that said, tell us what can uh, these people, where would they buy tickets? Where uh, There's a phone call here? Okay, can you open that door so I can hear this? There is a surprise call here, and we're going to get that. Real quickly, where can the people hear and buy tickets? Um, wonderful. They don't need to buy tickets on Saturday, April 12th. They That's can jump right, it's 3 free. 30 to 10. It is gratis. Yes, it's free, but it's uh, you would go to www.deeringestate.org for more information, right? That's correct. And so we definitely want to support the Deering Estate Festival of the Arts, so show up. This is a free event. Once again, Art Talk brings you all these fabulous events from the canvas to the red carpet, so do not miss yeah. one of these wonderful things. With that said, I have a special guest on the air, and who is that? This is George Cabrera. George Cabrera, CEO and President of Aspira. Good morning. Good morning. I have to tell you, your ears must have been ringing a lot because we have not stopped mentioning your fabulous kids and children that came out to Hispanicize. They were there, 10 lucky students that shadowed journalists and bloggers of the who's who of the Latino USA uh, journalism world, and that was amazing. And then, of course, murals from around these wonderful artists. Tell us a little bit about Pepe Villagas is here, who was the winner. Oh, yes. Oh, well, good morning. Uh, good morning to all of you. And thank you, uh, Susanna, for your efforts, and Pepe Villegas as well, uh, for really donating your time and your efforts to uh, feed on to the students. And we're really, really grateful um, for your support uh, during this whole uh, activity last week. Uh, it was uh, fantastic. We had uh, so many things going on with the, the students, um, you know, involving technology, uh, involving the arts with our artists uh, that were there all week long, just really painting these beautiful murals, uh, you know, to really uh, give up their options to benefit uh, our organization. So overall, it was a huge success. Uh, we were even receiving uh, information and feedback from the uh, from our parents and the school saying how wonderful it was. So well, George, I got to... 
I got to thank you, and I got uh, I got to tell you, we're about to leave the air. But Aspira Florida. Uh, .org. It's a wonderful organization. I know the school in Wynwood, uh, the community of the arts is, is going to be having these round circles. And we in the art community, thank you, George, for your vision and also to opening up the doors for conversation with local artists for this new school that is going to be focusing on communication, design, and the arts. And thank you for that. I know you recently had a meeting, so we're going to keep pushing you. We're here to help. Children are our legacy. So thank you, George Cabrera, for coming on the air. Thank you, Pepe Villegas. Thank Congratulations you. for Hispanicize 2014. Thank you, Giselle, for, as thank a you. young emerging artist, which I know you're not. You've been at it many years, but still with the Hispanicize. Kim, Thanks. thank you for your wonderful commitment to the Deering Estate at Cutler and bringing all these wonderful programs consistently. And Lucinda, I look forward to seeing the Curators Tour on Saturday at 445 in the Deep, where you will be talking about these wonderful exhibitions. Thank, thank you. you.